Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna and today is the best day of my life because I am here with you guys. So if you're not subscribed already and you're new here, click the subscribe button and click the bell button so you'll be notified when I upload a video. And if you are already subscribed, hey girl, hey boy, and welcome. So today is my relaxer update video and I am so super excited about it my hair is just looking so good it's flourishing and guys I just have some good news about this relaxer to share with you so if you're interested in knowing more about this relaxer update then just keep on watching of this video I am using my Sony A500 I believe it is and it just looks like it's not really like saturated I'm just looking at it through the flip screen and it doesn't look that saturated to me but um my Canon broke like the where you put the memory card at it's broke I looked up um YouTube videos and they told me um like when the sim card breaks out in the camera you have to get it out i got it out and it still isn't working so i don't plan on getting it fixed right now it's just a cost that i cannot take on right now so i'm using uh my other camera and i'll also be using my iphone so i hope that the quality isn't too bad guys um i'm gonna be playing with the settings on this camera to get it better and if you guys have any suggestions on how to use this camera or how to make my videos better quality with this camera then leave those suggestions down below so guys I got my relaxer done Tuesday and that was November 26 um, my mom is not here in Atlanta with me so she could not help me and I did the relaxer all by myself and guys honestly I know I've said in the past yeah this relaxer was really really good but guys really like this relaxer went like it was such a breeze like I'll have to I'm gonna walk you guys through all the steps that I went through but this relaxer was such a breeze it was just amazing and I just absolutely love the way my hair turned out not to mention I retained so much length and um I'm literally well, we'll get to that at the end of the video or throughout the video. So, um, yeah, I relaxed my hair November 16th. Well, I got my relaxer, my last relaxer, July 18th. Um, so that was about like, I stretched about four months in three weeks, almost five months, but, um, I didn't get to that. But guys, I, um, had so much stuff to do. So that's why I did stretch and my hair was doing so so good at that point so I really didn't worry about it and my new growth was still manageable so I was able to stretch and then when I decided to relax it was perfect so guys I used my relaxer um, motions products and um, you know I always use that relaxer I use the conditioner and the shampoo I didn't have the conditioner this time so I went in my conditioner stash and um, like because I have like little samples of conditioner and I decided to use something new mm. I use this stuff right here guys um, it's the Palmer's um, coconut oil formula coconut oil deep conditioning protein pack it's this in the Palmer's part I tore it off but it is the Palmer's brand um, and I will put it also I'll put it on the screen so you guys won't think I'm lying I saved this packet guys because this conditioner made my whole relaxer day like it didn't make the whole relaxer day, but it definitely was the last thing that I did and it was like so horrible. Like this conditioner has no slip. I put it on my hair and I'm thinking like, okay, it may be okay. And then I go in the shower to, you know, I detangle under running water and it just, it was no slip at all. So I would not recommend Palmer's um, 
deep condition protein pack it's not good for my hair um if you do still want to try it try it at your own risk but i hate it i hate it so guys um the relaxer process this time i tried something different because i was doing it on my own so i sectioned my hair into four sections as i always do and then i pre-sectioned the sections and twisted them so that i would have parts already and i could just lift up the part apply the relaxer lift the part reply, apply the relaxer so i did this so that the process could go by faster since i was doing it on my own and the processing time would be the same as if someone is helping me and guys it went so smoothly and i'll um insert a clip of me showing you the sections that i broke it up into the process guys the whole process was so smooth like just the fact that i did not have to part my hair while applying the relaxer like it's just genius i think i seen um sunshine do it i think i seen uh you love megs do it back when she was relaxed because you love megs that was the first time that i seen it and then i think i believe i seen sunshine i'm not for sure don't quote me on these things but i did see other relaxed hair youtubers do this method and just researching you know trying to see what would be better for me since i was like relaxing by myself i said why not try this so i tried it and guys oh i mean the best the best 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 way um i think another girl named lily she's relaxed um i believe she did it too i'm not sure like i said don't quote me but i've seen plenty of people do this method and i don't know why it took me so long to actually do it myself but guys it just if i've ever said that my relaxer went smooth before like this time was the smoothest that it went I mean, no burns, no, you know, guys, I haven't had burns in forever, but of course, no burns. It took really, really quick. It was fast. Um, I even had a chance to go back and smooth a little bit in the back. And also, I did my edges completely last, and they still got, like, really straight, guys. The edges really still got really straight, even though I did it, like, three minutes before I rinsed my relaxer out. So that just tells you that you don't need much processing time. And if you want like texture, like as you guys can see, um, my hair still has a lot of texture. If you still want the texture and volume and all of that when relaxing, you do not have to leave it on that long. And I just threw these curls in my hair with my Duval um, wand curler just to give it some more like volume, make it bigger. Um, and I like it like this sometimes not all the times because you guys know i like my sleek straight hair but yeah i like this look for right now when i i don't know the reasoning why i had my first step back it was a while ago i i think my silk press video in that video i had a setback but like i said i i will never come on here and show you guys like bad hair and glorifying it as good hair so when i did that straightening video i did not like really show you guys the back i had my hair curled but i was only showing you guys it from the front because i knew after that i was going to trim so i had to trim that time and i was around this length when i trimmed so i'm below well below boob my boob is right here and my um hair stops down here if you guys can see that so i'm well below boob length and at that point my longest points of my hair was at boob length now my hair like all of my hair is at boob length even you guys know i have problems with the back of my hair like the back portions of my hair is even down past boob length and not to mention my bangs are growing like weeds they're getting so long like these are my layers and they're just growing so so well so the first time i was 
past boob length but not all of my hair was past boob, past boob length and I had breakage so I cut my hair I think it was a little bit before my last relaxer I got back to around boob length just hitting boob length not past boob length but hitting boob length and that's when I had the stylist who put the glue in my hair and like Craped and hot combed it and just did everything that she could possible to rip my hair out and I had a setback then you guys said that you could not see it but I could see it I noticed but I trimmed nevertheless you guys seen that when my best friend trimmed my hair and even this time guys I um, trimmed myself I just put a scrunchie on and just trimmed the ends and then I went in and pulled my hair out section by section like this and did trims um by holding it out as well so i did a pretty good trim on my hair i probably cut off about half an inch to an inch if i could guess as i had an amazing relaxer day this relaxer went so so good i'm literally below boob length and my hair is fully 100% how I want it to be. It's in the great health that I want it to be in. My ends look amazing. And um, I don't have to trim all my hair off. But when I did my trim like two years ago, I was literally below boob length and had to cut it because my ends were thin. So guys, I um, attribute that to my regular deep conditions, my, um, the Olaplex that I've implemented into my routine as well and I mean it's just I don't know guys it's like I'm finally getting somewhere like after about two years I'm finally getting um, to where I want to get and I'm saying two years because that was when I cut my hair um, up to my hair was probably like shoulder length or armpit length so um, I've gotten like, and mind you guys, my hair is curled, but I've gotten a good amount of growth um, in that time frame. And, you know, sometimes you have to just be consistent, keep going, trim, grow it back, trim again, grow it back again, and until you get to where you absolutely want to be. So guys, I am literally now, because I said this last year, but... I am literally on my way to my goal and my goal is either waist length or tailbone length. So we are gonna pray about it and we're gonna keep doing what we've been doing, those deep conditions, those protein treatments, um, the Olaplex treatments, um, the bun rebuilder um, treatment which is the Olaplex treatment and we're going to be consistent and 2020 just, it has to has to happen guys if you have any questions about this relaxer update please leave them down below i'll be sure to chat with you guys and answer your questions in the comment section anything that i mentioned in this video the products um or anything will be in the description box except for that palmer's conditioner because i don't recommend that for anyone but thank you guys so much for stopping by remember do what you love and love what you do and i'll see you all in my next video